is now 17, 7, 17 in the morning on June 9th, 2019. Once again, I tried to sleep. And once again, I had a dream. So I guess it's just the dreams are more important than sleeping right now. I understand that because of the content of the dreams. This one was introduced with a jerk. Like, okay, so what happened was I started to have the sense of slipping off of a step, a stair step, causing my body to jerk. And then I fell asleep for like a minute. <laughs> I mean, maybe, I don't know how long. Less than an hour. <laughs> Being brought up to this place, second floor of a home, start to get visions like, you know, telepathic messages about it. Like there's another set of stairs in there maybe. A sense that there are stairs in the back, possibly outside of the place. And I feel like in the dream, I kind of wanted to ask if maybe I couldn't see the stairs, but maybe I thought there were stairs outside. And so I write like a fire escape. Now, when I finished writing this, you know, I waited till the end to write the beginning part because I wanted to make sure I didn't forget the main part, which was this thing about stairs. Fire escape was not in the dream. The word fire escape was not in the dream. But I know that that's what it is. Because this is not about going upstairs. This is about down, going downstairs. Um, and what I think this means is it's about covert assassinations. And especially assassinating my family. So the idea is... I don't know what the conditions are of us getting out of this. Like, I, is there some kind of vote that's being taken? And then if there is a vote that's being taken, what's been explained to me is everybody's afraid. It's not a private vote. Like we have in this country, we have private ballots. They do this whole thing so that you have secret ballots. That's not what kind of vote this is, obviously, because people are afraid to vote um, to change the situation because they are afraid they'll be retaliated against. So that tells you that it's not private. So this is a setup where the only people who seem to have privacy are the worst people, like the criminals. They're the only people that have privacy. They also have impunity um, and a tremendous amount of power. Other people have no privacy and are subject to the whims of this powerful group. So surprise, surprise, the system is very difficult to um, change because the imbalance of power is so tremendous. So what I'm supposed to do is to continue to dismantle it until it comes down, right? Or until something changes. But the problem is everybody who's in there is potentially harmed by this you know, um, to whatever, to a greater or lesser degree. So I guess what they think the solution is, is just to get rid of me and my family. And that would, that'll bring it back to the situation that it was and they can continue as they were going along, which was good for them and horrible for whoever is in my position and horrible for a lot of other people. But so that's what I think this is. And so I think this is the idea of the fire escape being basically, you know, throwing me down the stairs and my daughter and Chris. Uh, what's the solution? This system is horrible. This There's nothing valid about this system. This is a horrible system. How do you not have a... Okay, I've, I've been given hints that there's some sort of quote-unquote democratic... Obama, in his double speak, used the word democracy a lot, as if there was a democratic process. What I'm seeing here is absolutely not a democratic process. What I'm seeing here is a process, a total corrupt, total corruption. It's not democratic, and it's not legal, and it's not ethical, and it's not safe, and it's not healthy. Who's in charge of this system? 
Like, a, this is a question. Who is in charge of this system? Who is, who is running the software? Who is counting the votes? Who is set it up like this? Who is allowing my image to be distributed worldwide without my permission, without my consent, with my express lack of consent? Who's allowing it? It has to be the FBI. It has to be the United States government. It has to be. They have to stop. Either they have to stop or they have to be stopped. Not me. The answer to this is not throwing me down into the pit and killing my whole family. That's not the answer. The answer is to stop this system of human trafficking. It is human trafficking. It needs to be stopped. They can stop it. If the FBI won't stop it, somebody needs to stop the FBI. That's not a joke. That's not just, you know, a theoretical thing that I think might be night. Nice. That has to happen. It has to be stopped. It has to be stopped. This isn't even a part of the, this can't even have been a part of the original game. There is no way because there was no cameras back then. There was no internet. There were no telephones. It didn't operate this way. It wasn't ever conceived of that there would be an internet. And I'm barely conceived of, I mean, you know, 1770, okay? That's the last cycle from what I understand of this game, 1770. It was a totally different world back then. This has to be stopped. This is, we can't go on with this farce of an, it's not a democracy, okay? It's not, because people are scared and people are being paid off and people are being assassinated and nobody's, people have been told what's happening. News organizations know what's happening. They've been told what's happening. They won't report it. They continue to report falsehoods. They continue to speak with doctors who are corrupt, who say people are, you know, all kinds of crap. So it just, the system needs to be dismantled. The system must be dismantled. It doesn't work. It doesn't work anymore. The world is too different now. And, I mean, I've been asking for people to tell the truth. Like this very simple thing, just tell the truth. But people won't do it. It's not because this is an honorable system. I mean, I mean, is that, I don't, is that, I don't know if that is why people aren't telling the truth. That they think it's some kind of honor, honorable thing not to tell the truth. I think it's more, you know, I mean, that there might be some of that going on, but, you know, people that do know what's going on seem to be afraid to tell the truth. But the FBI should not be afraid. I don't know. The FBI, I guess, just wants to continue um, the way they're going. They like it. Um, somebody has to stop them. Somebody has to do something. Killing us, you know, obviously I don't want to be killed. But I also think that it's going to be bad for a lot of people. I don't want to be king of the world either. You know, that's not really my main interest. And I don't think anybody should be king of the world. I don't know why we can't just have the country, our country the way it was supposed to be designed. A country of laws that are accessible to everybody. What's wrong with that? Why can't we have that? 